Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. I have some really cool footage for you today. Um, I've never seen any sort of footage like this before. It's just coincidentally, you know, I had my GoPro sitting down and this is what happened. Check this out. Hey guys, welcome back. Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Just out here checking on the herd, checking on the little bulls. I got, it's a little nap time, I just fed them, so they're happy and, and plump. So it's kind of like that nap time after lunch. You're like, oh, just ate lunch and now you're full. I know it's that hard time of the day. That's kind of where they're at right now. But hope you guys have been doing good. Everything is good here. It's really good because everything is gotten greener again we've uh since we built the hay we've gotten quite a few uh inches of rainfall and so that's really good and exciting and i know the bison love it um, because they love that fresh green grass it's they can still get late in the summer whenever uh, we know that fall is knocking on the door and that green grass will disappear um, like you saw on my one of my previous videos but luckily um, some of the heat has escaped Oklahoma just for a brief moment and we're loving it here and uh, I know that the bison are too but uh, finally got some cooler temperatures and, and some rainfall so that's always good um, but you know I just uh, I uh, have kind of had the GoPro out just trying to get some good footage of them I love just sitting out here and watching them they're just they're just fun animals to watch and they're just so curious I I mean, they're like a goat. I don't know if you've ever been around a goat before, um, yeah, but they are just, they're so curious. So I have the GoPro sitting down and um, I can watch it on my phone. And so I'm just sitting here watching them and uh, almost every single one of them go by and sniff it, smell of it, lick it, just to check it out. Because these animals spend so much time out in these pastures uh, they know wherever every nook and cranny kind of is. And so um, this was something new out there and uh, they sh didn't take them long to find it. And they found that GoPro and they had to go check it out. So I've got some good footage of that I'm going to show you today. Now how cool is that to have baby bison calves come up that close to a GoPro? You're so up close and personal. <laughs> um, right there with that bison calf. Um, basically trying to eat the GoPro, uh, but it's crazy that we can see the inside of the baby bison's mouth. That's something we will probably never get to doing unless you actually have them in a squeeze shoot and, and you have to do that but we should never have to do that so crazy good footage um natural footage of this just the baby calves being them just being little kids like just like us uh you know once when we were we were young um so curious like they are they want to smell everything and 
in this case, maybe eat it or taste of it. So you kind of see how curious these animals are. They want to know everything that's going on. They, uh, they're just, they're so interesting to watch and it's fun to sit there and um, just see kind of what, where their mind's going and, and what, their, what their focus is and what they're interested on. Um, that's, that's the fun part about being out here with them is uh, they just, they'll get into all kinds of stuff if you, if you just, if you would let them. Hey buddy, I still don't have any I'm sorry. Dunbar wants cues, but I already fed him. He's he's eating like a hoss right now, which he needs it. Okay, I know. I'll bring you some cubes. Okay, so I got some exciting news. Um, we've finally named the bulls. Uh, we already had one pretty much named, uh, our very first one. Um, he was our firstborn calf ever from the cross timbers bison and uh, we named him Chaska. One of our uh, followers uh, kind of threw it out there in some comments after a video um, and so we're going to take it and run with it. Chaska means firstborn son and Sue and the reason I kind of I really like that is first of all uh, these those two mamas which are now uh, they came from the Quapaw Nation, um, like I've talked about several times. But they, uh, the Quapaw tribe is, I know there's many branches uh, or groups of Sioux, and this is one of them is Quapaw tribe. And so um, we kind of discovered that name um, through that, through those, some comments from a, from a follower, and I appreciate it. Um, and so we're going to run with Chaska for, for our firstborn bull and uh he's doing great both of them are doing really good um, the second one we named him teddy because his mama is from teddy roosevelt national park is where her bloodline comes from and being able to have a a, a bloodline or a bison from um, a national park and teddy roosevelt national park out of all of them that's so awesome and i'm lucky to have that um, so, um, we've got Chaska and we've got Teddy. Um, Teddy Roosevelt is one of my favorite, um, um, presidents of all time. He did a lot of conservation. He was a big time hunter, um, but, you know, he explored a lot of places in America and he wanted to protect them. And so, um, we should be very thankful of, of people like Teddy Roosevelt. So, why not name a baby bison calf after Teddy? As you can tell, the, uh, baby bulls are doing awesome they're so pretty um you just it's so cool to see how red they are and you can tell how they just um stick out out here against this green grass but they're doing really good they're getting so big um still milking on mom like normal which is what they should be doing um i even caught them eating some feed um which is good that's okay uh, they'll be eating feed at, at some point as they get older um Want to eat as much grass as possible, okay? Get those natural nutrients in them, um, but you know, someday they'll 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 eat some feed. So, one of the questions I get is, what are you gonna do with these 
baby bulls. And uh, well, there's a couple of different things that you can do. Um, so you really, it takes a while to really see kind of what their confirmation is and um, how good of an animal are they gonna be. What I mean, what I mean by confirmation is that can be several things, you know, um, just their body structure and, and how they're built, uh, little details kind of, you know, that they have. Good genetics um, is, is a quick way of putting it. But we're, we just kind of will keep these um, little bulls for a while, see how they turn out. And, uh, you know, we're not in a hurry to make any decisions right now. Um, the, the ideal prime um, weight to take them to market or age to take them to market for meat purposes um, is like 18 months and then you know to like uh, 22 or 24 months so right about two years is kind of the optimal time to take them to the market if you want to uh, process them for meat um, I know that kind of scares some of you it's like no the poor little babies uh, <laughs> they're not gonna be babies then we wouldn't do nothing like that but um, you know that's part of that's part of this industry. I'm not there yet. People ask me, "What are you going to do with these animals?" Well, I don't have enough right now um, to have market animals, which is to process them for meat and sell for meat. I wish I could sell you guys some meat um, because it's so good. It's so good and it's so good for you. But I just I just don't have the operation for that right now. I mean, I have a young herd. Um, as you can tell, they only have two babies, and it takes about two years to really have um, animals that you want to market and, and sell for meat purposes. So we're not we're not in a hurry um, to do that. But you know, if uh, in a year or so, a year and a half, if these bulls look really good, um, we could possibly sell them for breeding purposes. Um, both of their mamas are really good mamas, and. Like I've talked to you about before, um, they're both from the Quapaw Nation. Um, one of them is uh, got bloodlines to Teddy Roosevelt National Park, uh, which is awesome. And um, it's so cool that we have that right here in our own small herd, um, which is really exciting. You know, I mean, we wanted we wanted some heifers, but didn't get heifers. That's okay. You know, we've got two little stud bulls here that are uh, really good looking bulls, and they're doing excellent right now. So. We're just happy to have babies, uh, you know, on the Cross Timbers farm. And, uh, but, you know, um, it, ideally you wanted heifers to uh, grow or expand your herd, which would have been awesome, and that's great. And, you know, if, if things work out right and Mother Nature takes its course, Dunbar is, as you know, the guy we're counting on. And, uh, you know, we could have... We could have several babies uh, next early summer or or spring, which would be really awesome. Um, so, pretty excited about that. That would be really cool to have, you know, five or six babies, and that would be really good. So, so what I love about this tree right here, okay, this is called a blackjack oak, and um, as part of my brand or the name of my herd, Cross Timbers. So um, a man never really explained what is Cross Timbers. So Cross Timbers is an area in uh, eastern half, kind of in the central part of Oklahoma where the prairie meets the forest is what it is called. And this is one of the dominant uh, deciduous trees that occurs here in our region. It's a line that um, stretches all the way up to northern Oklahoma down in even Texas and it's kind of that central kind of eastern part of the state where uh, the trees and the hardwoods of eastern Oklahoma meet the Great Plains essentially and You know, this is one of my favorite trees. It's uh, it's a blackjack oak like I said, but um, the blackjack oak and the post oak are two of the um, most common and dominant deciduous trees, hardwood trees of the Cross Timbers region in Oklahoma. And uh, as you can tell, it's uh, well used um, uh, for some really good shade in the hot summertime, but it's just a really cool, pretty tree that we have out here. And this was kind of one of the things that uh, really kind of made me 
you know, come up with the idea of cross timbers bison. I want to describe something for Oklahoma and, you know, and something related to where our farm is and where these bison are today. And that big blackjack oak is one of the reasons that represents this cross timbers herd and just the cross timbers region in Oklahoma. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, I know it's been a while since I gave you a checkup on the baby bulls, but they're doing awesome. They're getting so big and uh, they're starting to lose their color, you know, um, on the kind of their knees is what we would call it or uh, some down their midline or the tips of their ears and around their nose. Uh, some of that brown or dark color is coming in and it's really pretty um, to kind of have like a highlight through all that red, there's a black coat underneath there that's starting to sneak through there. But uh, these little guys here are doing awesome and uh, they're just fun to watch. They're, they're, they're learning from, from mamas and uh, just checking everything out just like they do. So, but uh, if you already haven't, come follow us on Instagram or, and Facebook. Subscribe to us on here. Um, we, our t-shirts are up. Um, I've already sold some and you guys, uh, if you're interested in buying a cross timber t-shirt, uh, go ahead and you can go to my website. It's down here on the link below. It's crosstimbersbison.com and you can get you a t-shirt, um, and rock it out if you'd like. Um, also my sister, which is DJ from DJ, um, from Arms Family Homestead, um, her and Daniel came out here this past week and um, my sister, as you know, um, is a professional photographer. She's done this for a long time. She does a great job. She came out here, her and Daniel, and they took some photos of the bison. Um, I haven't had any really uh, real photography done by them. Um, been wanting to. And my sister came out here and she took a lot of photos of them and they are awesome. They look really good. She does a great job. And um, so if you're interested in going on and purchasing some of those photos, uh, you can. And you can check uh, her link. I'll put it here also for you um, at DJ Arms Photography. Uh, she does a great job and I'm proud of her. And um, I'm just very thankful to have somebody like her in my family. And so uh, you guys go on there and, and, and check it out. And uh, if you like any photos, go ahead and... and let her know and, and she'll get you taken care of. And I'll be posting some of those photos and, and, and get some out because they are really, really good photos. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, thanks for following us, our, our small little herd here in Southern Oklahoma. We, we really enjoy doing this. Thank you guys.